cream puffs, rides, food on a stick. We now know who will guide the next Wisconsin State Fair, at least for now. This week, the State Fair Park Board named Sherry Black interim CEO and executive director of the Wisconsin State Fair Park. She's been there since 2016 after serving as the executive director of the Waukesha County Fair. Now Black is replacing Kathleen O'Leary, who is retiring next week after 24 years with the organization. And we are honored to have Kathleen joining us live this morning as she prepares for retirement. Congratulations, Kathleen, on your pending retirement. And thanks so much for being with us this morning. Oh, goodness. Thank you, Susan. Thank you for having me. It's well, my let's, privilege. Let's talk about your career here a little bit, because I remember interviewing you in the 90s when I first got here at TMJ, and you were so enthusiastic about the fair. Your excitement was contagious. What is it about that event that gets you so excited and and love what do you love the most about that event oh, I, I could it's it's everything that we should be so proud of in wisconsin it replicates everything from all of the commodity groups and certainly the, the fact that we're the agricultural showcase of wisconsin the youth and how it changes them how it shapes them being in that coliseum as a young kid showing animals really makes you the confidence and and the tireless work that it takes to to get to that coliseum that's a big part of it the joy honestly the joy that it brings those 11 day brings to families of um, people of all ages i just i i love the industry and i love the wisconsin state fair and it has been an incredibly colorful 24 years now as you look back over those 24 years i have to imagine the pandemic is going to be something that sticks out. Of course, the State Fair had to be canceled for the first time in 75 years back in 2020. Talk to us a little bit about how it felt to move through that and then to bring the fair back. It was agonizing. I, those are the words that come to mind, right? Unthinkable times for, for all of us, everyone, almost every industry, certainly the entertainment industry in particular, um, day in, day out, trying to figure out, you know, making those decisions. And it was one of the hardest decisions, but it was the right decision to cancel the fair for the sixth time, only the sixth time in 170 years. Um, but I, as you recall, the innovative, I had the staff shift their focus, right? We had to shift the focus and we just, I, I tasked them with doing something innovative and we did the 16 day fair food drive through and the cream puff drive throughs and it was, uh, gave us that opportunity to at least give a little bit of joy back in those really, really hard, dark times. Um, as far as the question about what it felt like, the joy to open those gates, the accomplishment to open those gates for the 2021 Wisconsin State Fair is be what, beyond what words could ever describe. I'm so proud of the staff. I'm, I'm so appreciative of the board. And these were hard decisions and this was a very, very difficult fair. Even leading up to the day before when we had a new mask mandate go in for all state employees. I mean, every day it was, figuring out matrices of can we do 60%, can we do indoor programming, can we not, um, things that people couldn't even imagine, but that's not really, that's that's our job. And, and certainly I have this incredibly talented, I say it with sincerity, they're wickedly talented, they're young, they're vibrant, and we, we did it. And we had a successful 2021 Wisconsin State Fair and there was a lot of joy spread through those 11 days. Yeah, so many people turned out. Kathleen O'Leary, congratulations on your retirement. Thanks so much for your time this morning. Oh, thank you. And thank you for your continual support through my entire career, Susan, and, and to everyone at TMJ. Oh, we are lucky to have had you, thank you.